Hello, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today I am taking the Eurostar from St Pancras Station here in London to Paris and it's going to be my first ever visit to Paris. It has been on my doorstep for years and I've been to France four times but for some reason I've never been to the capital city. I've also always wanted to take the Eurostar and finally to see my favourite football player kick a ball with my own eyes, Lionel Messi, playing for PSG, of course. I have tickets tonight, which will be part of this video too. <laughs> All right, so I've just been through security check and then passport control, and I'm on the other side. This is the departures area. It's a pretty quick and easy process. It's not like an airport. But it's interesting because I already got a stamp for Paris in my passport uh, before I have even left the UK. I am in carriage 14, which is standard premier. There are three classes, standard class, standard premier, and business premier, which is first class. So I'm in the middle tier. I'll tell you a little bit more about it as I board. All right, so I've now boarded, but my carriage is very quiet and there are people working. So I don't want to disturb them by speaking too loudly in my seat. So I'm just gonna talk here. Uh, the train is actually leaving just now and I will take some shots of the area around me in the seat and the food and I'll try to chime in every now and then. do in my train videos I am going to give you a tour of the toilet let's see how it compares to other trains and uh, perhaps other classes if you've taken the Eurostar in a different class you can let me know but let's see what standard premier is like there we go not incredibly fancy but definitely clean and a decent standard Lots of space. Thank you. Ah, c'est bon. C'est bon. C'est bon. C'est bon. 
Now inside Gare du Nord, one of the largest railway stations in Paris, but there are many of them. And I'm gonna head on to the metro and go straight to my hotel. I changed my mind before heading down onto the metro. I wanted to just come out of the front and see what the buildings were like and they did not disappoint. This hotel here, 25 hours Terminus Nord. James Bond stays here in Ian Fleming's short story of You to a Kill. But uh, anyway, let's uh, head on and get to where I'm staying because later on I have a football game to attend. Just picked up my metro tickets from this machine. You can buy a one-way journey for two euros ten. You can also get bus, tramway and train tickets here. All right, so I've now arrived at my hotel room in Hotel Moderniste, which is a 21st century take on Parisian style. I have a room on the top floor. So here we have the bed in an avant-garde style, the tiles behind it. This is the ensuite here, the toilet and the shower, rain shower, I may add, TV, and a desk over here. But let me take you out to my favorite part. It's a little bit windy this evening. This here is the balcony and the view of the other townhouses on this bougie street. And round the corner here, the glittering Eiffel Tower in the distance. Now I will show the view again in the morning during the day, but I'm so excited because I have never seen the Eiffel Tower before with my own eyes and I did not expect it to see it from my hotel room. You know, there are some hotels here you have to pay a fortune for an Eiffel Tower view, but a room here on the top floor and you might be able to get it at a really good deal. This is a boutique hotel that has recently been renovated, still maintains that feeling, Parisian feeling. And I'm just gonna admire the tower from here. On camera, it still looks a little far away and you can only see the top two thirds, but actually it is better with my own eyes and it is more than good enough for me but also to see the rooftops opposite and admire the street down below. Very cool. So the link is in the video description. Stepping out of my hotel and onto the street and heading for some classical French food before making my way to the stadium to watch PSG against Angers. I managed to snag some tickets over Christmas and I've always wanted to see my favorite footballer, Lionel Messi, kick a ball before he retires. I never managed to do it at Barcelona. Now he's won the World Cup. He's probably not too far off retiring, so better get cracking and see him. And that is why I made it the first thing to do in 2023. The Morocco videos that I uploaded here in January uh, were still from last year. I was catching up on stuff. All right, so I just finished my uh, dinner and I tried the escargot snails for my entree, my starter. 
and I would have liked to have eaten them on camera and talked in the restaurant that I went to but it was so intimate and small and I didn't want to upset the other guests by being the annoying guy with my camera in front of everyone. So the snails I tried fairly recently in Morocco for the first time so it wasn't too strange to try them again with a lot of parsley and butter and some thick mushrooms and then for my main I had rabbit which came with polenta some mashed potato and some very buttery rice so that was quite nice so much french food i want to try um, but plenty of time right now as i am very close to the eiffel tower i think i might just be able to sneak in a quick look for this video before heading to the game it's a busy day after waking up at half past five to take the Eurostar and it's going to be a late one tonight after the game finishes. All right, so here we are. I'll move forward actually, so I can get it in the full frame. As I said earlier, first time in my life I've stood underneath it and I'm in a bit of a hurry actually because I need to get to the game. But look at it illuminating there. One of the most iconic sights in the world. And I've heard that they've recently repainted it bronze I will come back in the next video and see it during the day to see if that is true, the original colour of the tower. So I'm now here outside the Parc de Princes. I probably butchered the pronunciation of the stadium. It feels so strange holding my camera without a tripod or gimbal, so excuse if it's a little shaky. I took the metro to get here and I cannot wait to go inside, see what the lineup is and experience the atmosphere. <laughs> So once again, excuse my shaky hand without my tripod or gimbal. This is my view. Players are warming up at the moment. I'm on row five, so very close. Actually, behind the goal, all around the pitch, the stadium is a little far from where the players are. Probably an old running track, I think. And, uh, the crowd already chanting.
I'm now back here at Hotel Modernist. I didn't film the outro in the stadium because they were ushering everybody to leave at the end. So I thought I would just put my camera back on my gimbal and do it here. And PSG won 2 0. Messi scored right in front of me in the second half. Classic Messi goal. Angers is a poor team, but PSG didn't actually play that well. They weren't really playing as a team. No Mbappe, but Neymar and Messi both started. Sergio Ramos started at the back, Donna Rummer in goal. Hakimi wasn't playing at right back, unfortunately, but Marquinhos and other players were there. So overall, a fantastic experience to watch my favorite player of all time and to cap it off, score right in front of the end that I was sitting. I'm going to head to bed as it's late, it's been a long day, and I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning, grab some breakfast, and then we'll end this video, and the next one will be a full Paris exploring, going to all the main sites. Bonjour, good morning, welcome back to Paris. This is the view from my balcony here at Hotel Modernist in the morning. A little bit overcast today, but there is the Eiffel Tower in the distance there. And the rooftops in the light, bit of wind. January is a good time to come here though, because obviously it's not as busy as it gets in the summer. And I just had some breakfast downstairs at the buffet here at the hotel. Typical French breakfast, really buttery eggs and different cuts of cheeses and hams and meats. Selection of coffee, of course, croissants, pain au chocolat. So many things to try and enjoy. So from here, I'm gonna soak in these views a little bit longer and I will then look forward to visiting the Louvre later today, but I will overlay my experience visiting it in the next video. And until then, I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you a taste of what the Eurostar experience is like. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.